Is it cheating or just friends? Here are my five ways to know if it's friendship or an emotional affair. And before we dive in, I am Dr. Abby Metcalf and I'm giving a heartfelt plea to please give this video a like and then please, please subscribe to my channel. It means you won't miss any of my weekly video love and it also means that more people can find me, which uh, we're trying, that's what I'm trying to do, really get this information to as many people as possible. So here we go, the five things. Number one is, are you sharing more of your intimate life, you know, your thoughts, emotions, and dreams with this friend rather than your partner? In an emotional affair, you're really feeling closer emotionally to your friend than to your partner. You're sharing more of your inner life with them. So that's the first clue to look for. Number two is who are you going to first? Are you going to your friend and not your partner when you're experiencing something upsetting? Is your friend the first person you wanna share good news with as opposed to your partner? Is your friend your primary confidant and the only person who you believe truly gets you? Friendship becomes an emotional affair when the investment and the, the intimacy shift happens from your partner to your friend. Okay, number three, are you keeping communication with this friend a secret from your partner? You know, a lot of what's said and the amount of communication, if that's kept secret from your partner, we're really looking at more of an emotional affair. And this can start with, you know, lies by omission, uh, not telling your partner how often you talk, how often you meet, you text or whatever with this friend. Maybe you're deleting messages from your phone or even maybe you're denying that you've had communication with this friend. Uh, when I have a client who isn't sure if they're having an emotional affair, I always, I always ask, would you be embarrassed or ashamed if your partner could hear an entire conversation between you and this friend? So those are the top three. Now, if any of these, by the way, so far are ringing true for you, give a thumbs up in the comments below. All right, number four, is there a sexual attraction on either end? Sometimes people think, oh, I'm not the one attracted, but you kind of know they are, that's not good. When there's a sexual attraction and chemistry, as far as I'm concerned, you've already moved out of friend zone to some degree, even if you've never touched. There has to be, if there's, there's gonna be some flirting, there's gonna be something, so this needs to be a major warning sign for you that something else is going on. And last but not least, are you comparing your partner to your friend or your friend to your partner? I would say actually, this is the biggest one of these. You might even, you know, maybe you find yourself getting angry that your partner isn't more like your friend. Maybe you're critical of your partner and see them as, you know, the bad one while this friend is the good one. In a regular friendship, you don't do that. You don't compare your partner to your friend because you're not expecting the same things from them. The fact that you're comparing it all in any way to me is really proof that you're likely having an emotional affair. All right, so if you're realizing that there is an emotional affair going on, maybe right now as I've listed these, or if you're even if you're still not 100% sure, I did an entire episode about what to do and what to avoid uh, with an emotional affair on my Relationships Made Easy podcast. And uh, you can get that anywhere you uh, get podcasts, but I'm gonna link to that exact episode below and I'm really gonna encourage you to take a little time and give a listen because really your next steps are critical and I want them to be good ones for you. That's it for today. Thank you, thank you for hanging out with me. If there's any questions you'd like answered on a future video, please leave those in the comments below also. And always, always come to my website, abbymedcalf.com to check out all things relationships. Talk to you soon.